<laughs> Let's play! Whoa! Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, you all may call me Pharaoh, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play that I'll be doing. Uh, hopefully this will not take super duper duper long. Regardless, we are going to be playing One Shot. Now, I know, v like, very little, if really anything, regarding the series, besides having many recommendations to cover this game, and, uh, people tell me that it's amazing. You should try it out. Uh, people have, tell, have told me it's uh, in a similar vein of Undertale, in a sense, like, you know, you're not expecting much, and I'm pfft, like, whoa, holy crap, you know? I really don't know what to expect besides, like, it's just gonna be an interesting story, I guess. I, I... I'm going to this nearly 100% blind, and I'm glad I'm, I was able to do that before even starting this series here, so... Figured this would be a, a nice uh, LP to go through before delving into the main LPs, which will be Resident Evil 2 and Kingdom Hearts 3 in the coming weeks. So, uh, uh, let's check the settings really quick. I don't really think there's much besides... All this. Uh, there are some controls, but I'm just gonna leave it at default. I'm playing on my key, uh, my keyboard, and just uh, I guess I could plug plug in my controller, but I don't think it's really needed. So um, yeah, and I'm playing this not full screen. I'm, re I'm using OBS to record this, uh, so it's a very tiny screen I'm working with here, but I think I'll be okay. Let's go ahead and just delve right into this and see what the hell this game's all about. Dedicated to our beloved friend Felix, the Judge Aaron Mullins. We miss you. Right off the bat, I feel very sad, but, um... May you rest in peace, Felix. Alright, here we go. So, we uh, examine and with the uh, Z, cancel X, walk with the arrows. I can hold shift, I guess, or is that toggle? I'm not really sure, but shift to walk faster. Uh, enter, or no, excuse me, A for the inventory, or for the menu, S for the inventory. Okay, so it's all, like, like basically the four buttons and then a couple the shifts and whatnot. Okay, that's fine. Gameplay. Explore and interact with the environment and characters. Sometimes you may find an item. Once you have picked up an item, you may select it from your inventory. When the item is active, you can either combine it with other items in your inventory or use it at certain locations in order to progress. Huh. That's interesting. So, like, if I use it as an item, will it close off other aspects of the game in the future? Uh, here we go. Ah, it says right here. Other. Although full screen is an option, the game is best exp experienced in windowed mode, which is what I'm doing. Closing the game will save your progress. This game also auto-saves after some key events. Okay. Duh. Hello? Uh. Okay, I'm moving. Uh, where's the shift? Am I hitting shift? <laughs> Hold on. Yep, there we go. Now I'm hitting shift. Okay. I have no item selected because I don't have anything. Uh, make sure my hands are in the right positions here. Okay, so that was my... Wait, hold on a minute. That's my inventory. This is the menu. There's a travel, fast travel option later. Notes, basically the same thing here. Okay, I figured with other notes. And settings, which quickly went over. Alright, so right off the bat, I'm in the dark, and it's creepy. I did not even see there's a thing there. Hold on, it's on a bed. Nico just woke up here. I'm assuming it's how you pronounce it. Ah, good old passwords. So blue, green, red, yellow, and they all incorporate some type of thing, but uh, or uh, code and color coordinated, whatever. But uh, access denied, of course. Dusty books. It's too dark to, f to read in here. Well, where is the light switch? A soft, glowing light trickles through the window. There's a TV remote here. We pick it up. 
And now we have an inventory right here. It's too hard to read in dark lights. But television remote. So now it's active. But now it's inactive. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, I'm having a hard time even seeing where I'm going. I don't know if the game is supposed to be this dark, or is it just... Well, I didn't even know there's a door right here. I honestly just went to, the, went to the left. A withered plant sits here, stiff and dry. A branch snaps off. Well, for a reason, we now got a dry branch. A flaky dry branch from the bathroom plant. So... A pair of luminous yellow eyes stares back at Nico. I mean, why can't you just say it's my eyes? Unless it's not! Could be the big plot twist in this game, I have no idea. There's no water in a toilet. That... that sucks, buddy. The tub won't run. Man. Okay. So what is this... What is that on the bed? Oh, I mean, can I use this? No? Can't be combined, which... I'll be weird if a television remote and a branch would combine? Okay, so there has to be a door here somewhere that... Or, or a light switch, maybe? Okay, so... Hold on. Uh, door's locked. There is a door here. But it's locked. I can't be lost already. I can't see anything. Hmm. Let's think here. I have a dry branch... ...and a television remote. I... ...don't know what they l would like me to do here. Can a branch do something? <laughs> hmm... Well, I guess I'd, I'd need the code for... For this, but I don't see how much does it know this? There's nothing color coordinated to my knowledge here. Hmm. There you go. I, t I forgot it said there was a. You can barely read it. In the faint light, Nico can glimpse the face of the remote. All the numbers except five, zero, seven, and one are missing. Five, zero, seven, one. They're marked in bright colors. Five, zero, seven, one, and I believe... So five red, zero blue, seven yellow, one green. Oh god, am I gonna remember this? One, zero, I think five and seven? I think this is how it was color coordinated. I solved the puzzle! I am so smart, it only took me 10 minutes, but <laughs> I promise I'll try doing better. Access granted! Hello? Ellipses. Okay. Okay. You found me. Oh, uh, I don't know why I'm not liking this already. Why? You've already, you're already too late. Not much of the world remains. This will be apparent that once you go outside. This world, this place, was never worth saving. Do you still want to try? Then remember this. Your actions here will affect Nico. Your mission is to help Nico leave. And most importantly... Wait a minute. Can you guys even see that? Hold on. No, you guys can't read that. Okay. Th this is creepy. Um, so, oh, how do, I, how do I want to do this? I'm still recording. Okay. I'm going to put a screenshot up of what just appeared on my screen as I was doing this. And I'll have to save that. But, basically, it's telling me, like, after such... And remember... And then I had a separate dialogue box show up. You only have one shot, Pharaoh. So, uh, because I my PC I named it after I named it after my persona, but my username Pharaoh. Uh, 
and that's very easy. I could have used my real name. I don't know why I actually didn't use my my name, my first name when when I built this PC. But I figured, oh, it's gonna be my gaming PC for all my LPs and whatever. But this is creepy as hell. So yeah, sorry. That just kind of that that kind of okay. I wasn't expecting that, but now I'm I'm intrigued. I am a little scared because I don't know what else the game is gonna do to me. But we'll see what's up. Nico hears the sound of a door unlocking. So, the game is like, it's talking to me, talking to the player. And, uh, I guess I'm, I have to help him out, help him survive. But I only have one shot, which freaks me out too. Hello? Anyone? The TV gives off a dangerous looking spark. Hmm. Maybe. Oh, yeah. How about this? Nico readies a branch. He doesn't manage the light. Damn it. I thought I was being smart. I can kind of see a little bit. There's something on the left, but I can't reach it just yet. Hmm. Is a fireplace? The wooden fireplace looks like it was never used. Perhaps it could be lit. Well, I I thought I was on the track with using the dry branch with a spark, but I guess that's not all I can do just yet. Um, so what is this right here? What is that? Is that a keyhole? Game prepare for Kingdom Hearts? <laughs> uh, I gotta seal all those keyholes. Well, that was the first game. And the second game, oh, man. you know what? I I I gotta prepare myself for three nine because the story, people say it is super convoluted, and I agree. But if you do take the time, I believe you could get everything down. But it's definitely a lot more um, involved than when I, we than most people initially thought when we played the first game. It was like, oh, Disney character meets Final Fantasy. It's great. Then you got things about. Heartless, Snowbodies, The Unverse, Dream Eaters, Xehanorts, the Organization 13, and it's like, what? Hold, hold on a minute. Just a table. Inside the refrigerator is a bottle of alcohol. We take it. Okay. Um. Not sure what the hell alcohol is going to do for us. Apparently there's a door here. Once again, I still can't see. Do I really have to hire the brightness in this game? Hold on a minute. Ah, uh, there is no brightness configuration. There's a colorblind mode, but I ain't colorblind, so... Uh, maybe we... It's like a Molotov cocktail type of thing? No? I doubt I can combine these. Oh, no, wait. Well, okay, that, that makes sense. Alcohol is an accelerant, right? So... So now it's an empty ba bottle of a wet branch. Okay. Now it's wet. I think we should. There we go. Ah! A blue flame. You know, I was hoping this would be considered a torch, but... I guess let's go ahead and light the fireplace with this. There we go. That's... What is up with blue flames is being eerily beautiful? Eh, maybe it was just me. But once I did that, something lit up on the ground here. Something on the ground glimmers in the firelight. It appears to be a small metallic object wedged into a crack in the floor. Nico digs it out. Okay, what is it though? Ooh, a basement key! Perfect! I don't want to go in the basement in this creepy place, but uh, I guess we have no choice. Oh wait, that's not like an. Act. Never mind. I think the basement's here to the right. Right? Hold on. There we go. Ah. <sighs> Thank God the game, like the music, is somewhat somber-ish, but. Still has a very uneasy feeling to it. I guess I'm going the right way.
Okay. That's... Well, I do see light bulbs around this entire game and uh, the icon, so... Yeah, let's, let's pick this up. Yay! I have some light. Let's see here. A light bulb. A large light bulb. It's the sun. Okay. It's the sun. I have it equipped now. But it looks like it doesn't even matter if I have it equipped or not. I just always have it on me. Okay. Okay, I'm kind of going up the stairs. I can kind of see that. Maybe just the angle how I'm looking at the screen, because I literally can't tell where I'm going. Okay, okay, whoa, wait a minute, that's, that's a lot better now, okay. Wow, nice. Um, just gonna check things again, just a table. What was here? Single turn on. Hmm. I'm sure it wants me to look through there. Nothing still. What do I have? I have an empty bottle and then they say the sun, which is okay. Back in my room. Huh. So are, are these just all floor? Like, are these holes in the floor? Is that what I'm seeing correctly? Or. Because, damn, our house is very dilapidated, if I do say so myself. Uh, how about some books? Ad infinitum. Oh, okay. Um, we just woke up there. What is what is that on my bed? Like I thought that was the light bulb, but I guess is that just his bed covers, his little design. Uh, weather well, plant. Nothing here. Okay, I guess we go back on the computer. It won't turn on. Okay. Um, so. A lot of things won't turn on in this house, apparently. So what? what is this? What am I looking at there? Okay, so that, that was a problem. I... Maybe when I'm not holding on anything. I should hold on to the... Actually have the white bulb equipped. I guess. What What? What even happened? What's left of a computer terminal? Y yeah? Are, are these terminals? I guess so. Um, I'm just going to take a quick, quick second to check each one. I... You know, better to be safe than sorry, I guess. Uh, it's, it's, it's not going to take me forever to go through each one, so might as well. I mean, this game seems to be a lot about exploration and seems to be, uh, it might be doing some mind-bogglingness to me as I keep playing. But we'll see. It still has a very eerie, beautiful look to it, though. Um... Oh, here we go. Fast travel. You can quickly travel to the locations you've already visited by selecting the fast travel option in the menu. A default key has been for opening the menu is A. Fast travel cannot be used indoors. So I am... Well, I'm outside. And so... Computer terminal looks like this is like a freaking, like... Like a trolley or something. Um... Man, this game's odd already, but I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this. Like, I... I, like I mentioned before, I know very little about the game, besides people tell me to just go into it blind. And I guess this was a Flash game first, like on Newgrounds? Uh, I'm playing on the Steam version, by the way, if you guys if I didn't mention already. But, um, yeah. What's left of a robot? What is this? 
Because that, that is some beautiful looking water. Oh, uh, it's also a robot. Can I put some water in here? It's not. Should probably walk a little faster here. Um, no. Train tracks? And like, once again, I have no idea how long this game is. I don't know if by chance there's multiple playthroughs needed. Um, I'm just... What, what just happened? Hold on. Oh, oh, I guess that's supposed to be like a... Uh, Transitioning of some sort. Uh, freak me out for a second. What is this? Wait, is this a building? Or is that like a crevice? I I'm sorry that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm asking all these questions and some are, are probably really stupid. Uh, but like I, like I think I mentioned, it's, it's kind of hard for me to see exactly what's going on here and... I'm just intrigued. All right, hold on. Let's, let's go to the right here, I guess. I probably should have went to the top first, but... Oh, hello. The, oh! Ah! That light bulb. You are here. Me? Yes. Welcome to our world, friend. I am most humbled by your presence. Yes. Um, thanks. Um, uh, uh, sorry, I'm a little lost. All right, allow me to explain some things. May I first ask how you arrived here? I'm not sure. I woke up in this weird house. It was really dark. Oh, so you woke up in an unfamiliar dark location? Mm-hmm. Just as my prophecy foretold, yes! You are the savior we have been waiting for! You will be the one to save our world from e eternal darkness! Which was apparently a really good game on a GameCube, which I'm surprised they have not even remastered or done anything else with that series. Get on then, Nintendo! Um... I will not provide you with vital information! Please ask me anything! Uh, well... Can you tell me about everything, uh, this world? I'm not sure where I am exactly. I can't see too far off. Everything's so dark. Our world has, was not always this dim, nor was it so broken. But time waits for nobody, not even saviors. The world is divided into three kingdoms, regions. You're on the fringe right now, the barons. That tower you see in a distance once held our sun. Oh, so that's what the tall thing was. As you go further towards the center, you will cross the other regions. There should be a map still in this outpost somewhere. Oh, can you tell me about... So wait, the tower holds the sun, so I'm assuming kind of like a... I'm only assuming a lighthouse. Because they, they, they say that our light bulb is... It's the sun. I found it in the house I woke up in. Within your hands is our new son. Your son? Yes. Years ago, our previous son sat atop that tower and, had, and spilled its life into the land. But one day, the light went out. Oh, the world is still hanging on by a thread. The surface of this world is abundant with an element called phosphor. Fortunately for us, these elements stored light energy from our previous son. It's now our only source of illumination, but its energy is finite. When the last of the light dies, our world will too. Ah, but now that you are here with the new sun, all is well. You will need to restore it to the tower. That looks pretty far off. Yes, so begins your pilgrimage. Also, the sun is fragile, so be, be careful. If the sun shatters, the world will end in an instant. Oh. Okay. 
What world, though, that relies on a light bulb? I mean, how the hell did we get there? We just woke up, apparently, on and dilapidated. I thought he lived there, but no, I guess not. In the house, I found this computer. It kept saying stuff like, your actions here will affect Nico. But I'm Nico. Are those switches meant for someone else? Hmm. If I had to guess, they might be trying to pass the message to Pharaoh. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of wishing I put my real name on here to freak me out even more, but... Okay, either way, they know it's talking to me. Pharaoh? Ah, that would be our god! <laughs> Hell yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you are here, that means Pharaoh is here also. Hello. Pharaoh will provide guidance for your journey. In fact, they already have. Really? I haven't seen anyone, though. Have you not contacted Pharaoh yet? I don't think so. Being the bringer of our son, you have the sacred ability to communicate directly with Pharaoh. An ability that no one else possesses. Certainly not I. Please close your eyes and focus. All right. Oh, hello? Pharaoh, are you there? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's not my real name, obviously, but it is me. Oh, nice to meet you, Pharaoh. My name's Nico. I actually heard someone. They said their name is Pharaoh. This is incredible! Do not be afraid to ask Pharaoh for assistance. You are the Messiah after all. Can't, this is so awesome. I want to go home. Oh, I don't mean to be rude, but I... Uh, I'm, I'm not sure about this. I still don't know where, how I even got here. I was just with my mama a few hours ago. And now it feels like I'm in a bad dream. I just want to go home. Your mission is to save our world. Just as my mission is to tell you about our world. I am unable to help you beyond my programming. I am sorry. Oh. I think that's all I have to ask for now. Excellent. I wish you luck. Thank you. What is your name? Just robot. Hello again. Are there more questions for you wish to ask? Do you have anything else? Mm-hmm. Go on, then. Ask away. Oh, yeah, there is more. Okay. The Barons. It's so empty here. That's why it's called the Barons. Are there any people living in this area? Besides robots, I mean. I do not know. I was not built to wander. Not built to? So, you just stand here? It must be boring. Do you at least have friends? Robot friends, maybe? I cannot desire companionship. I have not been tamed. Not tamed? There was no time. I see. Well, let's ask about the other questions then. Uh, what the prophecy? So, what is this prophecy exactly? The prophet predicted that a savior will arrive from another land. The Savior will wake up in a str strange house, find the sun, and illuminate the world. Oh. What else did you, uh, foresee? What do you mean? What else did you see in the prophecy? Hmm? Wait. You are the prophet, right? Good heavens, no! But you called it my prophecy earlier. That just means it is, it, uh, it is built into my programming. Your... what? Ah, my programming is what guides me. I am a robot, after all. I see. And one more question. Tell me about the tower. How tall is the tower? I can't seem to even see the top. I am not allowed to answer. But how do I get up there? In time, Pharaoh will know what to do. I see. Don't put this crap on me, I don't know. Well, I guess he says in time. It's alright, thank you. In that case, I wish you safe travels. 
All right, I, I uh, this game, I, I'm already very intrigued. Um, as you guys may may tell, uh, obviously I have a lot of questions um, about what is going on here, and, and part of me is wondering. Oh, I have to push escape, like okay, nothing. Um, so okay, it doesn't matter if I bring up the menu. Or, or inventory. It seems like the game still kind of goes on. Well, I push F1. This is configure controls. Hold on a minute. Now that just brings up another dialog box with the controls. Okay, so it's hard if you see my mouse there. Um, okay. Uh, I guess there's not a really good way to pause the game. Even if I minimize it, I think the game still runs. So. All right, yeah, I, I'm very intrigued what this game has to offer. I, I don't. Part of me has this very uneasy vibe that it may be creepy or scary as we move along. I do not think that's going to be the case, though. Um, but it does have that fourth fourth wall breaking stuff. I mean, it's talking directly to me, and the only way it knows my name per se is due to you know. Computer files, you know, when you, when you register a computer, when you input all the information, it's all stored on, on a text file. Obviously, the game is programmed to seek out that file, read out the name, so... Cool trick, and I love when games do things like this, because it's like, it takes you back, like, whoa! But... It's just fun. I don't know, I enjoy it. So, we'll, we'll go ahead and call the video for today. I know we really didn't do much, um, but... I heard this this game is pretty short anyway. I don't know how much or how long it's going to take, per se. Um, could be a couple videos, could be longer. Uh, I don't know if I can show everything. I don't know, like, I don't know if this is timed. Part of me feels like it might be timed. Because it's like, the world will dim out. And I was like, now I'm worrying if I should stop rambling or whatever. But, you know, this is part of the, of the game. Part of the experience. Play the game. Seek out things for yourself experience it, you know? And maybe, you know, if you guys are, are intri intrigued by, uh, so far, then pick up the game for yourselves. I mean, this game isn't isn't that expensive at all, and it regularly goes on sale from, you know, here and there, so try it out if you are already intrigued. But in the meantime, uh, the next video, ladies and gentlemen, we will go ahead and, I guess, uh, explore a little bit more and maybe start heading towards the tower. We'll see what I can do. Or maybe in this building, I'll, I'll see what's up in there. So, as usual, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time for Let's Play One Shot. Love you all so much. Have a great day. Thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, feel free to leave a comment, a like, and subscribe for future content, where I aim to release a video a day. And if you do subscribe, make sure to click on the bell symbol to be notified once new videos are uploaded. You can also catch me streaming from time to time on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, and join my Discord server to relax with other gamers. All this information is in the description box below. Have a great day.